In this video, we're going to discuss and demonstrate a visceral technique for the large intestine, specifically the colonic stimulation technique. Now this technique can be very useful in instances of constipation and ileus, but we would want to avoid it in any situation where there is a suspected intestinal obstruction, neoplasm, or anything like that. So starting with this technique, we're essentially going to be using an effleurage type motion, but focused on the large intestine. So we're going to start at the distal end and then work our way proximal. So starting from the sigmoid colon, we're going to move medial to the ASIS, and we're going to take one hand and make contact, broad contact with our fingers, and then support that hand with our other hand. Now here we're going to be pressing posteriorly, and then we're going to drag inferiorly towards the inguinal area. Now from here, after we do that a few times, we can move a little bit more proximal to the descending colon, and now in the left upper quadrant, we're going to press posteriorly and then drag all the way down towards the sigmoid colon area. And we can do this a few times. Now, after we've done that a few times, we can move more to the transverse colon. So in the epigastric area and then around to the descending colon and then sigmoid. And then again, up and around. I want to continue the circular pattern and every few motions we're going to be moving more and more proximal. So now moving up to the hepatic flexure, cross, transverse colon, descending colon, sigmoid. And then moving to the ascending colon, up, across, inferior, and down up, across, inferior, and down. And then moving all the way to the cecum, medial to the ASIS, and lifting up, across, inferior, and down to left inguinal area. So this is a technique that can be used and uh, taught to patients uh, to self-treat if they have any kind of instances of uh, chronic constipation. It can be also very useful uh, to teach parents uh, to use for their kids if they know they have a simple uh, constipation issue. And once we've completed that, those cycles and we feel like we've achieved sufficient uh, stimulation, we can return our patient to neutral position and then reassess for any somatic dysfunction.